Hi, I'm Xenowave, and today I'm going to show you how I made this sound. So the first thing we do is load up a new Citrus, set it to default preset. This is just a me thing, I right click on C9 for easier access to the bass notes. So. In main, we set the unison order to 9, or whatever number you like, I just prefer the most. And we turn on all the sliders, and turn on the oscillator button. I like square waves, so I'm just going to choose a square wave. You can choose whatever you want. And so, if we enter the unison index mapping for pitch, and offset it, ever so slightly we get this sound this is because every bar is it represents a square wave or whatever waveform is playing at whatever pitch so y is pitch and x is whatever um, voice is is playing so i'm gonna turn it back down yeah. and to get rid of that uh attack we just distribute the phase units in the index mapping like this and we get this and so the next thing we do is route operator one through filter one through filter two through filter three like that but it's not gonna go to filter three yet because we need to activate the next knob and this just routes the current signal into the next filter into the next so on and so forth and we're almost done all that to do now is set whatever filters to whatever you like personally i'm going to choose band stop band stop band pass in that order so band stop filter band stop filter and pass filter and immediately i just i set the resonance pretty high for my band stops and i distort on filter one actually so i automate this automate this and i automate this to get that classic neural treatment and i set the resonance of the band pass to around 65 70. so you can automate as well and i set each one to times three each what we call this filter mode, I guess. And I should be okay. Now we have should have something like this. I get rid of that. Yeah. Cool. And then we just start automating. I like to recolor and rename just for easier documentation of whatever sounds I'm making. Mm, I don't like that color. <laughs> you know, if you, I, the, the hotkeys are um, R to rename and then F2 to change color immediately. <laughs> and so yeah i i just start clicking wherever take your time i guess a little better if i do this and this is just to just get the ball rolling I know it can be hard to find inspiration when you just, well, not doing anything. 
Yeah, doing this will, will get you started. See how it sounds? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. It's missing something though. Oh, yeah, I like to just throw it on filter one and filter three. And that's that's basically a sound. What I do uh, for workflow, really easy workflow, is I press Shift and S to get into slip mode, slip mode, like that. And now I can easily chop up whatever I think sounds good. So if I like that, I'll Alt C to get the the cutting tool. And then I hold shift to make this lock into the Y position. And I highlight. Get that out. And, now and I just start slipping and. And then whatever else I'd like to do, I just do it. Yeah, this is a very handy base for all your neuro needs or technique rather. There's a lot more we can do with this. And then if you route it to a mixture track and it start, I don't know. Now I'm just I'm noodling around, but it's fun. Look at it. <laughs> so on and so forth. I'll put it down. Personally, I think it sounds pretty good by itself. And then, since it's citrus, we're, we're, we're really only using one operator. There's so much to do. You could start going crazy with the FM, or even just see the oscillator tab. Let's put that back. Yeah, do whatever you want. That's that's basically it. All right, thank you very much. See ya.